We're getting everything packed up now. We're taking our first trip out west, going to Nebraska. I'm gonna be hunting mule deer in the sand hills. My friend's gonna try to shoot some coyotes. We're uh, got everything about packed up now, and we got about a little over 20 hour drive ahead of us. So we'll uh, get there tomorrow evening. So hopefully the drive will go good for us. But I'm really excited. I know he's really excited. Never experienced anything like it out there before, so it'll be a great experience. Hopefully we have some luck. just under a thousand miles to go we've been going for about I don't know how long it's been a while I'm pretty tired we're gonna switch up now we're getting gas and hopefully it'll be daylight here soon We're settled into the lodge now. We're gonna go start checking out some places. We're mainly just gonna scout right now, but uh, also bringing the bow and the gun with us in case we do see something and set out a call. We might call a coyote again later this evening. And uh, if we get a chance at a mule deer, take that uh, chance at a stalk. But right now we're just trying to look, uh, figure out where stuff is and uh, if we can see any deer. On the way in we saw four mule deer. It's the first time I saw mule deer so that was pretty cool but hopefully we can see more. In two miles arrive at Samuel R. McKelvey National Forest. We genuinely have no idea what we're doing right now. I really thought there would be deer here, but there's none in a country mile of this place. So we're gonna ride around and look for more deer. That's what we've had luck with so far. We're just on the edge of the national forest, so. That's pretty much it for day one. We're at, back at the hotel now getting unpacked. We uh, rode around to a couple places and did some scouting. We saw uh, a lot of good whitetail bucks, uh, a lot of whitetails, and a whole lot of mule deer does. Didn't see any uh, bucks that were mule deer, but uh, we know where we're going to try to look again, and we're going to hit a couple different spots in the morning. So. It was a pretty good first day. Saw a lot of good deer and uh, got a good idea of the area. So it's pretty productive. Are you cold? Mm -mm. You sure? You look like you would be cold. No, I'm equaling back out now. I'm good. <laughs> It's day two. We're set up on a ridge right now at another piece of public we didn't check out yesterday. We're just kind of overlooking and glassing right now. If we don't see anything, we're going to go to the next ridge. It's about as high as this one, but we can see a lot more. So we're going to continue to take a look around. But the sun's coming up. It's really pretty out here. 
we haven't seen anything yet. We saw one on the drive-in. Hopefully they'll be moving this morning. It's pretty cool out and got a constant wind, so that should help us out later if we do find one. But hopefully we have some luck. I saw two at first. Now I only see the one. The one's definitely a doe. Yeah, I only see the one too. But at first, I 100% I saw two of them moving. Yeah, it is a mule deer. Yeah. <laughs> About a thousand yards away. There's a uh, one, maybe two mule deer. We're not sure where the other one is. We thought we saw two, but we can definitely see one, and it's a doe. So hopefully, we can see some more now. We're sitting on this ridge overlooking a lot so we're just glassing trying to pick out anything that could be going to bed or getting up from a bed so hopefully we have a little more luck So we're getting ready to hike down on one of these edges over here and uh, overlook a lot of this. We uh, stopped at a store and talked to a guy said this was a good area for mule deer to hide in. It, uh, he said it burned in 2012. So we're going to take a look. He said in the ravines and stuff like that, they like to hide. So hopefully if we sneak over this edge, we can see a whole lot. So hopefully we can find something and make a stalk on it. Is this day four? We're here for, is this day four? I think so. Yeah. Day four. All right, yeah. So this is day four in Nebraska. This is our last day we're able to hunt, so we're going to try to make something happen today. A little late start to this morning, but uh, we um, saw deer on private the other side of this ridge. This is a public piece, so we're going to get close to this ridge and see if they're bedding in any of this stuff, and we can sneak up around them so hopefully we'll have some luck with that she's going over the hill now yep we're gonna go up here and put some stands on the yotes hopefully pull something off these hills the wind's kind of medium so I don't know. Medium wind. Medium wind. How do not, you measure medium wind? It's not hard. It's not soft, so it's medium. <laughs> medium wind. I'd say about. I don't know which way. It's medium though. <laughs> All right, our last day. We're gonna try to get a last stand in. Hopefully, get one more coyote in. Get to right. sit. We're sitting. Stand, sit, whatever. We're gonna do one more coyote hunt. Hopefully get one more in the truck. I got one this trip. I'm gonna get it mounted. See if we can snag one more before we leave in the morning. Well, that's it for the hunting in Nebraska. We uh, didn't have any luck when it comes to the mule deer. It's way harder out here than we thought it was going to be, not going to lie about that. We thought it was uh, going to be kind of like hunting in Virginia. You know, you ride around, you can see deer really anywhere and uh, be able to get on them a little bit easier. But it was a whole different ball game out here. Pretty much had to learn to hunt all over again. We had uh, really no idea of what we were doing, what we were walking into, but we made the best of it. and. We uh, actually got to see some deer, got to experience a lot of stuff. This is the first time out west, so we really can't complain. It was a great trip no matter how you look at it. Awesome experience, one we'll always remember. 
we are bringing back one coyote that uh, Cody's getting mounted, so that was uh, pretty, pretty fun. Unfortunately, it happened real fast. We didn't get it on video, but uh, still really cool uh, for him. That was his first coyote, and uh, I, we saw plenty of mule deer. It was a real fun experience, but we're going to get back to the hotel now, get everything packed up, and we're leaving in the morning. So until next time, it was fun.